morning, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute. I look like a disaster. It is almost 11 in the morning. I have been up since like 8, 8.30ish. Contemplating if I should go to the gym because I really want to. However, your girl finally got her booster shot. Go me, proud of myself. So my arm is like incredibly, incredibly sore. I also just don't really feel all that great. And like the mental hasn't been the best. And I feel like the booster shot is kind of making it a little bit worse. I don't know why I feel like extra sensitive because of the booster shot. My arm, like I can't really lift it. I don't know, it's like I wanna go to the gym, but I also don't think it's the best idea. So what I think I'm gonna do is maybe I'm gonna go to the gym and then do some cardio, like really like cardio and some stretching just to get my like body moving. And then I wanna go to the grocery store today. Excuse me, yo. But yeah, that's, that's the game plan. It's been a little bit since I filmed. I've really just had to like focus on myself and I'm not gonna post a video that I'm not happy with. And when the mental is really bad, it reflects in the videos. I, you know, I love being open with you guys and I love like talking about, you know, mental health and like how I've been struggling and things like that. But sometimes I like go back and watch the video and like I feel depressed watching myself. Like there's a big difference between like talking about it and kind of feeling like, yeah, I'm not alone. And then also like watching someone and you're like, I feel worse now <laughs> so i'm not gonna post a video like that i'm not gonna post a video that i don't think has any potential to like help someone or even like help myself like a video i'm not proud of i'm not gonna post that that's why little breaks have been happening here and there i promise i'm like doing my best i promise my best is just not all that great right now but i am doing my best which is all i can really do but yeah we're gonna try to have like a semi productive day even though we're not really feeling the best that's gonna be the day we're gonna try our best even though we're not feeling our best and we'll see how that goes So for breakfast, I really wanted a bagel, but I just got notified from Starbucks. I, I ordered a matcha latte and a bagel from Starbucks. Just got notified that they are all out of bagels. Very heartbroken about it, but I'm still gonna make a breakfast sandwich. I have this sliced sourdough bread from Target and I'm going to cook up two of these. And then I think I have two pieces left, that's two. Don't break, don't break, don't break, don't break. I usually wouldn't order Starbucks just to get a matcha latte, but that's just how it turned out this time. I got a venti hot matcha latte with oat milk. I also, I showered, kind of did a little bit of a light makeup look today. Um, my camera was dead, so that's why I couldn't film it. Not like you guys need to see me in the shower. I've decided I'm gonna go to Whole Foods today. I have to go to the grocery store. I just toast my bread. I'm, all, I'm scatterbrained. So good. I think tomorrow I might be getting my hair dyed dark. I might be going back to dark tomorrow, guys. I'm not sure. I've been kind of contemplating going back to dark hair for a while now. It might be time. It might be time to go through my character development of like when an Asian girl goes from bleached hair back to dark hair. That's peak character development. And I kind of want to like force myself into that era, maybe. Also, I'm getting really lazy with maintaining my pink and it's also very expensive to maintain colored hair. Also, it's not really like healthy. So I'm wondering if I could like give myself my wallet and my hair a break while simultaneously putting myself in my character development bad bitch era by dyeing my hair dark. Let's see what happens. Oh man, I really wish I made some potatoes or something, but this is fine. 
I always feel like there's food all over my face. I'm always paranoid that there is because whenever I go back to edit, I swear, there's so many times where I've had to delete like footage because there's been food everywhere. I'm gonna be honest, the appetite isn't really there, but it tastes good. Like I'm enjoying it, which is still a step because I haven't enjoyed like any of my meals lately, really like just haven't been eating. So the fact that I'm eating and enjoying it is a step. Do I go grocery shopping? It's already like 4 p.m. Here's my toxic trait is I spend more time like contemplating if I should do something instead of just like doing it. That's a toxic, toxic trait of mine. Like I'm wondering if maybe I don't need to go grocery shopping. I can like survive the day without going. Should I go or should I just stay home, paint my nails and watch Euphoria? But I also have like no vegetables. So it'd be a good idea to go grocery shopping because then I'll be sad. And then I'm just gonna have to push grocery shopping off for another time and I'll end up like ordering out and it's gonna be a mess. <sighs> it's just because it's four. So I know that there's gonna be like hella traffic and I'm not excited about that. I said I was gonna go. I'm gonna go. Yes, you Reopened, but it's here and she's bleeding. I'm bleeding. <laughs> a little bit of heartbreak, which is like we're dealing with that. And then a new trauma that like wasn't ready for that. So it's like I'm bleeding. And then I'm like, someone please help. And then I just got cut somewhere else. And I'm like, oh, that didn't really help, but okay. So really not doing great mentally, like genuinely not doing too hot, but we are working on it. And I'm trying to see this as more of a like learning experience. I don't know, man, it's hard. Like I go through this, this constant back and forth with the whole like, oh, ex these experiences will make you stronger. And I'm like, bitch, I didn't need to be stronger. I didn't need this pain. I don't need any more character development, okay? Like I think I've developed plenty for the next like 10 years. Let's calm down. That's kind of where I'm at basically, is I feel like I'm going through an arc in my story. I'm going through an arc in this TV series called My Hot Mess of a Life. <laughs> so yeah, but you know what? Something I always try to think about when I'm like feeling absolutely fucking awful is I have felt terrible before. I have felt worse than this before and I made it and I am here so I can make it through this. I wish I didn't have to, but it's happening and there's nothing I can do. We're gonna get through this. I'm gonna get through this, whatever you're going through, cause we're all going through something. You're gonna get through this. We're all gonna be just peachy. Fake it till you make it.
We did it. We did it, y'all. I'm proud of myself. I'm gonna drink this. This is a Goya smoothie. Straw, straw nana. Straw nana dream. It's strawberry, banana, pear, and apple. Mmm. 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 That's so good. People so blatantly like judge me when they can see that I'm filming in the car. It's very nerve wracking. I'm not gonna make eye contact. Pretend I don't see them judging me. Wait, I'm not about to have an anxiety attack right now. Because <laughs> I care too much about the opinion of other people that don't even know me. That's a problem that I'll bring up with my therapist next time. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Whoa. Kyo. 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 No. Hi guys. Been home for a while. Um, I just hung out with Tyler for a bit. Cried a lot. It was great. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> but it's now like 10.30 p.m. and I'm gonna have my tuna rice bowl, which like I know it seems like I have it a lot, but I actually haven't had it in like two weeks, which is a long time for me. And it's also like really quick, easy, and I'm craving it. So that's what I'm gonna have. I was actually gonna make some noodles, but I actually think I'm craving more of like a rice type of thing. And like, I don't know, I'm really craving the flavor of the tuna rice bowl. It's so freaking addicting. I love it. Are y'all sick of it? Are y'all sick of it yet? You probably are. I don't care. Mm. Mm. I wish there was something I could add to make this just like spicier. Hello, people. It's the next day. I'm off to get my hair done. We are gonna go dark. Er. <laughs> yeah, I think I've decided to go back to dark hair or at least darker. I don't think I'm gonna go like, oh, fuck me. Maybe I can like, do this thing. It's fine. We'll be fine. So I've decided to go back to dark hair because number one, this is just not a cute look. And you know, the full color only lasts for such a long time and this is not cute. I don't like when my roots start to grow in. I don't like how that looks. Um, and my hair grows really fast. So it happens really fast and it's very expensive to like keep it maintained. Also just like the color itself is very hard to keep at the like pink color I want. It's too much of a maintenance, too much time, all that stuff, too much money. Also, I don't know if I already said this, but the lighting is terrible and I'm so sorry. But like peak character development, I saw this on TikTok. Peak character development is when an Asian girl goes from bleached hair back to dark hair. And I am gonna force myself into that character development to start this new era, this new arc of my life. I think I did say that yesterday, but I'm like just gonna repeat myself. Anyway, it's a new day. I hope you guys are having a good day so far. I'm having a pretty good day. Had sleep paralysis last night, which was like not fun, but I had a decent amount of sleep. Go me, go me, go me. Are you kidding me? The way I filled up my water bottle and then I didn't bring it? Am I dumb? I am dumb. Mother. Oh my gosh, my hair is brown. Wow. I kind of love it though. Oh my gosh. Wait, I kind of love it. And it feels so nice. I have a brunette, guys. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> I like it. Wow, it's been so long since I haven't had like colored hair before. Wee! <laughs> Made raboki. Ta-da! <laughs> Made raboki. Because I'm sad, which we even knew, and it's okay to be sad sometimes, which I always say when I'm sad, but <sighs> raboki is my comfort food. You guys know this. Mm -hmm. Raboki is such a comfort food. It's so good. I still can't believe I have brown hair. Wow. I don't know. I like it. Might take a bit to get used to, but I kind of dig it. I'm gonna go back a few weeks, get a little bit darker. I don't know why, this like haircut reminds me of Taylor Swift in her You Belong With Me music video. You know what I'm talking about? Like her, the, the girl, the popular girl in it. For some reason, I'm not, I don't think I look like her. I'm just saying the haircut like reminds me of it. Mm, my camera's about to die. So before it does, um, thank you so much for watching. Really, truly, thank you. And of course, before you go, if you haven't already heard today, you are amazing, you are beautiful. You are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.